everyone, how's it going? Welcome, welcome back to New Cities. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day whenever and wherever you happen to be because I'm excited. I'm very excited to be back. I said I'd consider doing a little bit more of this game and I honestly really want to. I do want to say right off the bat, this game at the minute, at the time of recording is not finished. It is quite far away from it. And uh, I have a video explaining more about what this game is and what it isn't on the channel. I will try to remember to link it in the top right of the screen in the little info thing, and I will put it in the video description as well. The second important thing to remember is that because the game is not done, and because it's so early on, there will be bugs, and this will not be a super long let's play because of that, because it's not finished. So... Let's just jump into it. I'm gonna assume you've watched that other video and you know what we're doing here, so I'm not gonna explain every little detail of what we're doing, but it's a city builder. Hopefully, you'll be able to uh, follow along a little bit. I'm thinking this big tile that we have here, we're gonna work with that, and uh, we're gonna go in with some avenues is what we're gonna do. So from there to there... I'm thinking we want to go ahead and just do a great big avenue. And uh, off of that, we're basically going to put in a bunch of uh, different things. We have got a thing in the top right, though. You built some roads, and I placed some zones. Use the zone tool next to the road tool. I'll do that in just a minute because I want to get some streets in here as well. I'm thinking we do a street right there, a street right there. And I'm thinking we go the whole way along here. I'm thinking we could probably continue going the whole way along here and then get to this little spot where I reckon we could do another section of Avenue if we really wanted to. So let's basically build this the way we'd build a battery in City Skylines is uh, is what we're going to do. Going to just outline this section as well. And uh, you know what? It might not actually be a great idea to do this the way I'm doing it. Because I realized I was going to give myself a bunch of T-junctions and what I considered to be a main road. But you know what? It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Let's just do this right here and throw a bunch of uh, bunch of roads in this direction as well. I'm sure those four... Not T-junctions, sorry. Four-way junctions. I'm sure those will not be a problem for traffic in the slightest. In the slightest on a main road. There we go. So that's going to be... Our first main area, let's head into zoning. And what I want to do is I want to pause while I place all this because I just want residential the whole way down there. And I want residential the whole way down there. And I want to make sure the entire road's covered in it, which it is. Then I'm thinking we go in and I'm thinking, honestly, these areas back here can be completely covered in commercial zoning because I think that'll be a good bet. And I think we'll do the same just on the outside of all those avenues as well. So we have a nice mix of residential and commercial. We don't have any farmland right now, but that's fine. Let's just run the game and uh, let's just see what happens. Oh, hello. We've got a bunch of info here. We've also got our first houses and our first shop there as well. Look at him. He's even got a sign. I had a sign like that once. Not even kidding. I used to rent some offices for my YouTube channel in my town. And on the sign outside the building, you legitimately had like conflict nerd. It was really cool. I just genuinely really enjoyed it. It was a little thing that made me feel really professional. Anyway, we probably want our first farm. We have got the first farm like accomplishment, but I think that's because we have commercial zoning there, so we'll not worry too much about it. Someone moved in. Now let's get them a job. Yellow zones called agricultural allow farms. Farms need very large amounts of flat space. Expect to fill the map with them. Hint, for agricultural zones, place roads along grid lines. For residential, place along the dots so that every dot is connected to a road. You don't need to build a tight grid. Okay, that's fair enough. I'm thinking what we do is we build our farms like down this way. So let's go and get some avenues and let's say 325k there and let's say 339k there and then let's go in and do something like this just sort of the whole way around and we can basically just dot some farms into uh, a lot of this space. So something like that should be okay. I want to go in and say that all of this space is just going to be farmland, so the whole way around. 
is uh, is going to be farmland there. We could probably get away with some farmland on the outside of the avenues as well. Wasn't originally going to do that, but that should be okay. And then what we can do is go in with another avenue at a bit of a diagonal up to there. And then go at another diagonal up to there. And then just connect it to the city like that. And I think that'll work. We should be able to just run things and uh, we should see some farms. There we go. We have some farms popping up. That'll be perfect. Right down by the water. That's probably prime real estate for people wanting to live there. I think we can actually have a little look at, uh, at land value, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, land value is, is better down there. People do want it, but that's fine. They've got some houses down there. I'm sure they're not mine too much. A hundred people live here. The state now legally recognizes our locality. Someone even wants to open a store. Use the blue zone called retail. Hint, place retail zones at important intersections and along major thoroughfares. We've already sort of done that. We already have a decent amount of retail there. Let's speed things up a little bit. Let's see if we can make some money. And uh, let me actually go into our finances and say property tax of 9% because I'm a horrible human being and I do love me some money is, is what I love. But there we go. This whole area is filling up. The commercial is actually filling up super quickly. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we have over a thousand people here, which is beautiful. At 5,000, we can build a school. But I think we have pretty much filled all of that commercial zoning. And we actually have some demand for industrial as well, which is kind of interesting. Uh, if we throw some industrial zoning there, will it actually fill up? I feel like it probably won't because I think you need schools to actually get industry. So we'll not worry too much about that. What I am worried about is the fact that we do have a lot of demand for residential. So let's head into some streets and we do have 9 million. So let's just go something like this, I guess, like out to here. I guess that could work or up to like there. Now I'll tell you what we'll do. Can I see him? this? This is a great line here. So if we go from here up to, I think there and then go straight across. That gives us a nice big space to play with. If we go in like this, we can get another nice big square. And what I think we'll do is we'll go from here to there. And then we'll go across like this. We'll sort of alternate them back and forth. So that not all of the traffic in this area needs to use that one road on the outside there. And I think that'll, that'll kind of work kind of nicely. So we'll just go to here. We'll go to here. And we'll go to there. And I think that'll work. I think we can get some good zoning in there. So let's go back to zoning. Let me pause and let me say I want all of these roads to be absolutely covered in residential zoning. And the other cool thing is, and, and something I really like about this game is, um, oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Something I, I really enjoy about this game is the fact that you can copy and paste areas. I'm pretty sure I did... I might not have shown it in the in the video that I did on it, actually, the, the sort of overview video I did of this game. Uh, but you can totally copy and paste areas. So let's say this area works out really, really well. I don't know if I have the tool to do it right now. Maybe I don't. But there is a way you can go in and be like, yeah, I just want to... Oh, it's blueprints. So we can go in and we can say new blueprint. And I can be like, I want all of this area. And then I can be like, yeah, that. And then I can clone it for 2.86 million, which is really cool. I really, really like that. Anyway, let's speed things up. We'll get this area to build a little bit. I'm sure it'll be terrible for traffic, but it's fine. We'll get a pretty good population boost from it. I'm sure they won't mind too much. And uh, let's just close the blueprints thing there. Our goal at the minute is 5,000 people. And you know what I could totally do? Actually, thinking about it, I could go here. I could, I think... I think I can grab... Hold on a minute. Um, I don't want a new... Oh, hold on. There is a way to do this. There is a way. There we go. So we've got this blueprint here. We can rotate it. And then I could go ahead and just place it over here. Like that. And we've just mirrored all of this. Not bad. So that's going to boost our population. We're almost at 5,000 people, meaning we're almost ready for a school. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. We don't have a lot of demand for commercial, unfortunately, but I don't mind it too much. That is uh, that is really cool. And uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we are not a town. 5,000 people live here. There is a dot on the map. Residents are asking for a school. A school is expensive, 
but will attract factories, and factories employ more people than farms. So we have the amenity tool, we can get schools, uh, I want to place it like right in the middle of everything. So let's, let's see here, we still only have regular streets. What I'm thinking is that we do something like this, right? And maybe one day we turn this into a roundabout or something. But we do something like this, we bulldoze that bit, and then I throw the school like right there. You know, give it coverage right in the middle of it. Oh, no, it doesn't get... Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, let's not do that. That is a terrible idea. And I should feel bad for even considering it, honestly. Let's just put our avenue back in there and be careful. So avenue can stay there. I think what we'll do... Oh, that camera rotation gets me every time. Uh, I think what we'll do is just put a school in here. Right in the middle of everything. That gives us... Well, actually... <laughs> No, I've had, a, I've had a better idea. Put the school here, and it almost covers that entire residential zone on this side. Or alternatively, put it in so... Oh, you know what? Put a school there, and put a school, say, there. Very expensive, but we now have two schools covering everybody, which I think is good. So that's that's fine. Let's have a little look. We're not going to worry too much about being out of money because I think we'll make some back. Especially with the schools in there. I imagine people are going to be really happy. And I imagine they're going to want to get some of these factories that we've been talking about. So let's have a sneaky little look and see if I can spend maybe $103,000 to go in and place a couple of factories right there. I don't know if they're going to build anytime soon. Factories are really strange in this game because they don't actually ever seem to build. It might be bugged. I'm not going to I'm not going to stress too much about it. Oh wow, we've actually got pavement over here. I, that's such a basic thing. That's so, oh my god, we've got pavement. It's it's so basic, but I oh, it makes me so happy. Hopefully we can get some factories out there though. Hopefully that is uh that is a thing we can do. And hopefully we can, like, maybe design a city center at some point. Because thus far, this is just... It's quite basic, isn't it? It's just a big grid. The game was literally like, yeah, you don't need to build grids. And I've... Yeah. Just, just watch me. Just watch me. I know I don't need to do it, but I'm probably gonna. Anyway, we have 5.3 million. Let's slow the game down a little bit. And let's try and do something that is gonna be less of a grid. I'm wondering, can I do this? I can. It's quite expensive. But I want to do it. I want to do it because then I can build off of that. And can I do here as well? It's going to be a different angle, isn't it? No, it's not. It's actually identical. Okay, I like that. I I like that a lot. It's, uh, oh wow, that perspective. Just th look at that, right? This is what I mean when I say the camera in this game is a little funky. This looks like it's a much smaller area. You rotate round, and then, oh, that perspective. It, is it smaller? No, it's not. Oh, that's weird. Oh, sorry. That's just, it gets me every, ugh. It's strange is what it is. Anyway, we do still have some money. So let's do, um, let's do this. And let's do this. I think they'll link together, right? Yeah, that is... Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Perspective is messing with me so much. That is just a big rectangle, but you zoom in and it starts getting weird. Let's let's play in the top-down perspective for a second here so I can just not have a headache. <laughs> let's just let's take it easy for a second here. Um, so can I connect this? I can connect this straight through to that corner if I want to. Sure. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do that as well. And, uh, let me go in. And I want to bulldoze this whole section of road. Because I think I can make it neater. With, uh, with a few less, like, cuts in it. So do that. There we go. We just have one, two breaks in it. That's alright. Take that bit of road out. And honestly, I'm going to leave that bit in there. As ridiculous as it's probably going to end up being. I, I think I want to leave. Actually, no. Maybe I don't want to leave that there. What if we did this and then we did this 
and we have these come over like that and then we go in and take out that bit right so those roads all sort of connect up around each other which seems totally fine by me and sure that looks like a total mess i love it all right what are we gonna do with this is the question <laughs> i hadn't really thought this far ahead i'm not gonna lie um we could if we really wanted to just do roads that sort of go straight through everything we could do these like alternating like road lengths as well if we really desperately wanted to although i get the feeling that these roads might all be way too close together but i'm not i'm not too worried about that because i think it might look oh hello what is going on there i think they no they don't go in a straight line hold on a minute okay let's get those out of there because that looked a bit weird and let's just leave it like that i guess or maybe throw one more in up here yeah we'll we'll do that and then we could connect those together if we really wanted to but we're not we're probably not going to do that unless we well i say that we could do this i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get a bit weird with roads to be totally honest but that i kind of like and then if we really wanted to i think we could just connect these all out and make like a weird not grid grid thing it's very strange looking isn't it it is it is a bit strange looking but i think this will be interesting i think it'll be more interesting than just building everything off of like the same grid layout plus as we start losing money i can just go ahead and throw more zoning in here so as expensive as this might be i am pretty sure it'll turn a profit so there we go we've got all that we probably do want to go in and do like more with it but that looks like it's not actually following oh i don't care it <laughs> It doesn't matter. I'm just going to get rid of that, though, because it annoys me. I, I I know I said I don't care, and then I literally get rid of it, but whatever. Let's pause while I do this, because we're going to need to go through and just uh, touch up some parts of this to make sure they actually do, you know, all this zoning does actually cover the roads here. So there we go. That's all covered. And then that's all covered. And uh, there, I think, oh, hello, we got a little bit in one of the avenues there. Let me just take you out of there. And then let me do like retail on this side of the avenue because I think that'll be a good idea. And then maybe in that lower space as well, we could do some retail. So like in here could be a retail zone too. I think that'll work. We can maybe do some retail along the top of that road. And uh, sure, let's see if it builds. Let's let's have a look and see. It does. Okay. So that was easy enough. I'm sure these intersections are going to be nightmares for traffic, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm I'm not going to stress too much about it. It's probably fine. It is it is probably f Oh, we got factories. I've never even seen these before. Oh, I'm so happy that these actually work. <laughs> oh, I know it's nothing. I know it's literally just a it's the game working. I realize, but that makes me really happy. Okay. We actually got factories. That's cool. Um, we need more farms, probably. Let's go down here. Let's go to here. And let's say there's a bit more agricultural uh, space. Which will be lovely. We we do probably need to cover the map in these. I know the game, the game does say, like, be ready to cover the map in agricultural zoning. So we'll just give them, like, a much larger area over here, too. To, uh, to expand into and we'll give them a bit of a larger area down here as well to uh, to expand the farms out into we could probably connect those roads together and do something like that as well to try and get some farms I'm not sure how close to the water they're going to get but that seems okay we've also almost got 10,000 people which is kind of nuts not that many shops though we had a lot of them and then suddenly we didn't which is a little alarming but whatever i'm sure it's not the end of the world uh let's see just shy of ten thousand people it doesn't seem to be growing anymore so can i go in here and just do can i do something like this i'm gonna have to run these roads like straight through the lower avenue aren't i yeah that's the only way i'm gonna get this to uh, actually run parallel but i think this will look really cool too so let's just run these roads straight down here. It is going to get rid of some of the commercial zoning that I had there, but it's not building anyway, so probably not the end of the world. And then we got two more roads to go. 
which I don't think we'll do because it's not really going to want me to do that too much. So that's fine. So we don't do those first two. We do this one. And that goes to there. And this one comes down a little bit further. And we'll just go down the line and connect all these through. And we might end up with something that's kind of cool looking. It's probably going to be terrible for traffic. But at the minute, I don't have that many options for dealing with traffic anyway. We have streets and we have avenues. So that's what we're using. Also, this area in here, I think, could be a really cool, like, I don't know, city center type thing someday. We shall see. Let's just rip out these bits of road and uh, let's just throw in some zoning. Let's just let's just do it. Let me pause as we usually do. And then, you know, in city skylines, pausing like this would absolutely cause a death wave in about 20 minutes. So I don't know if this game has like death care management and all that stuff. If it does, I'm really going to regret pausing while I place all this stuff. But right now it's fine. Either way, we have over 10,000 people, which is pretty cool. I don't know what, like, our next goal is. We still have... Actually, let's look at education. Let's have a little look here. So, education is... I mean, it's it's there. It's, it's, it's expanding. I would imagine we probably do need another school. And I do notice we have the money for it. So, let's do a school, say, there... And let's do a school there. And that should cover that area really, really well, which is fantastic news. In terms of zoning, we actually have demand for more factories and more farms, which is beautiful. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Connect a road through there. And let's just throw more uh, more farms down here. Let's just get them right by the water. I love that. I love that farm zones are huge, man. That's such a little thing. I mean, it's literally not. It's literally huge. But in the grand scheme of things, it's like a, it's a little thing that makes it feel like, you know, you really need to support your city with enormous farms. That's that's really, really cool. Uh, let's go ahead then and throw some factories sort of around all this space. Let's throw them on that road as well, because we can. That completely got rid of the demand for them. Oh, hello. There's been a, a, oh, there's been a murder, or a, a murder. Uh, so, I don't know how many of you know what Taggart is, but uh, if you do, then you know that there's been a murder. <laughs> to anyone watching in Scotland or from Scotland or who just happens to like the Scottish accent, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, there's been a robbery gone wrong. Where are the police? There aren't any. But there's about to be. So for 5.5 million a, uh, up front and a million a year, we can get a police station. We can have a little look at crime, though. And yeah, crime is... It, it exists. Is what it does. Uh, we also have, like, issues. So... This is the... I guess this is the legend for issues. And I don't, I don't see any, like, icons. Unless... Oh, hello. So do I have to, like, click on something to see the issues? I'm not really sure. Maybe they pop up. Either way, we'll not worry too much about it. We do need to pull... Oh, no, there it is. So issues. What do we got? Uh, so we can see the issues. And then info. So they need customers. Is what they need. There's a lot... All of our retail places need customers. That's fine. Uh, you guys need workers. That's okay. Uh, you guys want workers as well. What have I up here? What have we got going on? There's no complaints from any residential places. Okay, so workers. They just need more people, I guess. That's fine. Uh, so crime. Let's have a little look. Crime's pretty bad down here. What does a police station do about that? It's got a pretty big radius, so it can just go like right in the middle. So a police station right there. And honestly, I, I think we're going to take a chance and throw another one right there. So two police stations right off the bat should deal with all of the crime problems. And then I think we need to go in and we need more residential is what we need. Because we do have people in here who are complaining about not having workers, right? So issues. Yeah, help wanted. So they're going to need more educated workers is what that means, I think. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, hold on a minute. What is this? It's a, it's a residential. It's like an apartment building. Ooh. Okay. We have a lot of households in here. We can go right in and find... Oh, we can go in and find people? Oh, my God. Why can't I rename them, though? 
So you're employed at Reed Vineyard, which is open right now. Okay, and then I can... Oh, I can see what you do as well. So you're at the store, which I can click on, which is on Tallahassee Avenue, which was built in spring of 1950. That's really cool. That's so... There's so much detail. I didn't know about any of this. Oh my god. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's pause for a second then. And uh, let's just continue this avenue up to there. And I guess put a bunch of residential into a lot of that space. We don't need more commercial zoning. So I might... Oh, I don't know. We also don't have like proper boulevards and stuff right now. But whatever. Let's just get a little more standardized with our grids for this area. Because at the minute, it seems the big complaint is workers. So that can connect to there. That can connect to there. That one can go to there. And this can go straight across to there. And that's fine. So that gives us a bunch of connections. This can go straight across to that road. You can go straight across. And uh, we're just going to go with, like, like I said, a really normal just grid here. So we can get more workers in. And, you know, I, I think that's going to be kind of important. Uh, I think we honestly just keep doing the same thing. We just keep throwing roads across here and we'll just completely fill this space up with, uh, we'll not do there actually. And I think we'll also not do there just to, um, not have too many different sort of connections going on there. Uh, I do want to replace that avenue though. So that goes to there and then you go to there. That's better. Okay. So we'll bring you across. That can connect again. You can connect again. You are not going to let me connect, which is a bit annoying. So we'll leave that space open. And these can just sort of go straight across. I don't think they... Actually, they do look like they line up pretty well. So that's okay. We'll bring these all over as well. And uh, just connect them where we can, I guess. Which is all of this. And there's, there's not really any, like, district zoning in this game that I'm aware of. So... I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to regret uh, not, you know, not. I'm going to regret connecting a lot of these roads is, is what I'm getting at. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, let's just throw so much residential zoning into all of this space. And uh, all of this space as well is just going to be residential. I don't want residential there, though. And I think we will stick with commercial along those roads just because that seems like the way to go. Uh, that's commercial. We don't want that. We want residential in there. So all of that space as well can have residential and right up to there and just not, uh, not on the avenue, please. Okay, we're putting a little bit in the avenue. That's fine. Uh, that should all fill up really, really quickly, though. If we just sort of run things nice and fast, just fills up like crazy. And that should, I would imagine... Oh my god, we're getting like apartment buildings and stuff like that already, which is... That's nuts. We're just getting them in there immediately. That's so cool. Uh, I imagine that's going to start generating more... Yeah, so we need more farms. Which is fair enough. Let's slow things down and have a look at the issues then. So... What have we got going on? Needs customers. No one out here is complaining about being unemployed. I have to imagine that given time all of these people i mean let's let's speed things up again i imagine this will start building maybe a bit faster if i give them more farms because i did notice that the farming demand climbed massively when we put those uh new buildings in there so maybe we just keep expanding the farming area i mean we have 12 million so what if i was to go from there it's gonna be quite expensive but from there to like that spot for 1.12 million. And then just throw a bunch of little roads off of this. Like a road that goes down to say there. A little road that goes down to there. We don't need to do all these roads. We can just sort of do farms wherever they need to go. But I, I want to do just a couple of little roads to uh, to break things up a little bit. So something like that. Uh, maybe we do a road that goes out to there and down a little bit. Uh, this road could expand that way a little bit, maybe that way a bit. And I think that'll be okay. I think we can make that work. I don't want to get too close to the town, although I imagine it's probably going to expand that way. But we'll see. Let's just throw some, uh, let's just throw, you know, a pause while we do it. Go ahead and throw a bunch of agricultural zoning into, uh, into all of this space. 
all along this avenue is going to be agricultural as well. Up to about there, I think. And maybe this one as well could go up to about that spot. And that should be fine. We should see a bunch of farms pop up, though. And that should, I would imagine, help the residential spaces start filling up a little bit too. Which, in turn, will hopefully start generating more demand for commercial spaces. Which will hopefully give more jobs and get more density and all that good stuff. And just by the way, just by the way, you know, this this looks like it's getting pretty big pretty fast, right? Like this, in a game like City Skylines, this is, I mean, it's a decent population size. It's 17,000, 17 and a half thousand people. But in the grand scheme of the map, we haven't done much. We, we haven't really done much. Just by the way, just in case you were thinking, wow, this game is fast it's it's very very quick to do everything no 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 this is um just getting started this is really just getting started uh we still have the school we probably need another school actually and i think we have the money for it let's throw a school right in there honestly probably gonna want another police station too so let's do it opposite the school so that the teachers can be very like <laughs> you know what will happen to you if you don't get a good education you see that out there that's all you're that's where you're going that might be a little reminder of my <laughs> my education there. Uh, 20,000 people live here. Now it's a ghost town. It's official. We have City Hall. Ooh. And then at 50,000 people, we can we can get ballparks, which promote health and community. I also get a mansion. Oh, boy. I, I want a mansion. I'm not going to lie. We need 50,000 people. So we got to keep growing, and we got to get ourselves... We got to get City Hall. We got to figure out where it's going. I'm thinking in here. I'm thinking this whole square gets redesigned and City Hall goes right in there. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing next time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Uh, part one of an actual new Cities Let's Play. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you would go down there and leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to turn on notifications because YouTube wants me to tell you to do that these days. And it will also make sure that the videos actually reach you in your subscription feed. Thank you so much for watching. It has been my absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.